Isa Woods, aka Hip Hop in the Flesh, aka Mr. Vikz, aka whatever else you want to call me. <laughs> Wasteman. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm 29 years old. I live in Southall, as most people probably know. And I am a rapper, as most people also probably know. I am one of the members of the Playground Junkies. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I do all different types of raps. It just depends on what the song is. It depends what type of vibe it is, what type of genre we're going for. Um, I'm heavy on concept when it comes to writing, so literally I'll just attached myself to whatever type of feel that the original artist is going for. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. Wow, that's a um, great question. Experimental beats, things that no, like, trap music is cool, boom bap is cool, but if it's something completely different, like, like something fucking crazy, not like Kanye level crazy, but <laughs> crazy up to a limit. I am a god. <laughs> Alright, six. Now I love Kanye, don't do that. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot. There's a lot of musical influences. Uh, let's let's start with the UK, because the UK artists I feel don't get enough attention as they should. So I'm gonna say Wiley is one of them. Huge influence. Klashnikov is another one. Akala, Loki. As you're noticing, these are all conscious rappers. <laughs> you can see where I'm going with this. So that'll be the UK side of things. American side of things, I'd have to say Tupac, Eminem, Royce the Five Nine, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Drake, you know, the usuals, the usuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I would want to work with, fuck man, that's a good question. <laughs> good fucking question. Um, I would want to work with Tupac. Yes, only because I would learn from, apparently he was a beast in the studio, like his work ethic was unmatched. So for him to shoot out an album in a week and for it to still be sick, that's something that I would definitely just analyze and watch and just be like, all right, cool, how the fuck do I do that? So I'd rather do it from a, from a learning process more than just, oh, cool, we're gonna have a song together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> H, fuck H now, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, probably H, I'll be real. <laughs> probably H. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah That's I'm, just not your style. Yeah, it, it was, um, yeah. Nah, it's not <laughs> even that, you know what, he's good. But I just don't think he deserves to be at that mad high position that he's at. I don't think he's done enough in the game for him to be like, yo, he's like, the level that he's at. You think he just got lucky? Don't make me say what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna make you say what I'm gonna say. You already know my reasons why I'm thinking. Cool, I'll leave that one there. Well, family. My family was listening to a lot of West Coast hip hop music, which was a lot of Ice Cube, lots of Dr. Dre, Snip Dog. And I think just listening to that a lot kind of just wanted me to get into it and know more about it. So then I did the history of hip hop and studied hip hop all the way back to the 70s, all the way back to jazz. And then from there, I was just like, yo, I'm in love with this, man. Apparently hip hop is something you're supposed to live on a daily. So I pride myself on doing that on a daily, no matter what. This is how I am. This is a lifestyle. This is it. It's not just a thing of, um, oh, I can make music and I can rap a verse. It's not really hip hop to me. That's great. You have a skill, but I like to walk the walk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of Um, before this, uh, I did a bunch of things. I, I first started in college studying music tech and they would force me in with, uh, with bands, live bands. So I'd have to learn how to work around live instruments and that was probably the hardest thing for me because it was like learning time signatures first to stay on time with all these other people playing instruments and then just trying to match them and then trying to match the song that they're doing at the same time. Doing that as a rapper, is um, it's more difficult than it looks. I think there's that, and then uh, what else? I worked with producers for a bit. We all know that story. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know that story. Yeah. Now it's PJs. PJs is for everybody, for all the indie artists like me. For the indie people like me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cut. Put a song. I guarantee. Yeah, you yeah, I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. 
I hate my real name. <laughs> <laughs> well, Isa was uh, an old king in the BC times. He was a Spanish king who basically fought for his people, did everything for his people, and then died for his people. And I feel like I, oh, I don't have people, but you know, I, I feel like I kind of embody that same passion and feeling where I would do everything for an indie artist. The things that they don't have, I would want to provide for them and give them a platform and just see them, you know, succeed. Yeah, you already know. I'm <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm single as fuck. <laughs> What's that? What's the, um, you're a good looking guy. <laughs> Sounds like a phone cheese. It's there. funny because you're laughing when you said it, so you don't, <laughs> you don't mean that. <laughs> So what's stopping you from uh, dating? Um, I'm focused. I'm just too focused on where I want to go first. I feel like marriage and stuff can can kind of wait a little bit. I'm not like super eager to go and get married. I feel like uh, I don't know. It's something I was taught from my granddad actually. My granddad taught me and, and my grandmother. She she said always do your work first and then worry about the women and stuff later. So. But you see the hypocrisy when you get older, they're like, why aren't you married yet? It's like, you told me to focus on my work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, bro, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I see us as a bigger brand, as a bigger company. I see us having a lot more people working with us. Uh, I reckon we would definitely have like a, a studio maybe. We'd have a studio open where we can actually just get people into our own actual studio and then work with people individually like that. I think we are going to be in a completely different mindset in terms of work rate, in terms of how we work, and in terms of ideas and concepts for different songs and stuff like that, video ideas. I think it's going to be a whole different level. Honestly, uh, I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> but I know it's going to be great. I know that. I know that. It's going to be ridiculous wherever we are in five years' time. Um, oh, that's a good question. That's a pretty good question. My biggest inspiration. You know what? It's going to be weird that I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say this anyway. Joe Budden. Alright, <laughs> cool. And I'll tell you why. Because when we first started PJ, I first started watching his podcast. Yeah. Now everybody knows Joe Budden is a rapper. Well, he was a rapper. But watching him build his podcast from scratch and then understand the business behind his podcast and how he kept it all independent and kept himself from signing any weird contracts with Spotify, etc., until the time was right. It taught me patience, and it taught me a way to lead your own crew to a, to a better victory by just doing your own thing, rather than being like, all right, cool contract, looks good, money looks good, I'm gonna sign it, and really you're giving away some of your shares of whatever it is that you're building. So I was like, yo, seeing that, is, I think Joe Budden's probably like a massive influence. I'm not gonna say Gary Vee, you Gary Vee likers out there. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Um, what do I do? Uh, I play a lot of basketball. Uh, I've only recently started picking up on you know new basketball season going on. So, oh, I'm playing games. I'm huge into Japanese anime, as some of my friends might know. <laughs> That's about it, really. I don't really. I live a kind of boring life. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I can really enjoy and be comfortable in life once I figure out where I want to be and how I'm going to get there and when I get there. Then I'll be like, all right, cool, I can chill, I can party up or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. but right now it's work time, it's grind time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, I want to say, I want to say, please keep on supporting. I understand that there's, there's loads of people out there, there's your favorite celebrities, whatever, all these people out there that you're going to keep on supporting. Uh, and I get that, but when you have your own community of people and they actually help out people who genuinely need help in your community, support that. Support that because that's what's going to help build the rest of the people around you. Nobody's ever going to build themselves up by themselves. No one can go and do this solo. And that took me a lot of time to learn because I was doing solo for like five years until basically my brother turned around and told me, yo, we need to start doing PJs. And now look where we are. So, thank you for supporting, and keep supporting, and support your community shit. That's what I'll say. To be or not to be. <laughs> um, fuck, is that a good quote? I don't know. Um, oh, oh, it's a good one. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. <laughs> <laughs> cool, fair enough. All right, oh, cool. Cheers, thanks for speaking. Thank you, man. <laughs>